Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run factor analysis in Python. But before that, let us understand what is factor analysis. Factor analysis and a principal component analysis is a statistical technique used to reduce a large number of variables into fewer number of factors. These techniques are used in the analysis of validation of constructs, multiple indicators, measurement index, scale construction and data reduction. They are used to identify one or more common domains for groups of correlated variables. For example, indicators of job satisfaction, political attitude, self-esteem, socioeconomic status, health or family values. Factor analysis is a technique used to identify the pattern of correlations or covariance between the observed measures. Say for example, here have, we are having means of transportation. Now we want to group them according to their usages. So you can see all the private transport vehicles are grouped here, the commercial vehicles are grouped here and two wheelers are grouped here. Now if I represent this thing on a graph where I consider two wheeler on two wheeler on y axis, four wheeler, two wheeler and four wheeler are extreme opposite to each other, commercial vehicles and private transport. So the combination of two wheeler and private transport is a bicycle. Four-wheeler and private transport is car. Four-wheeler and commercial vehicle is the trucks. So here the grouping has been done. This is what we want to do in factor analysis. Now let us take up one case study. Two-wheeler manufacturer is interested in determining which variables his potential consumers think about when they consider their product. 22-wheeler owners were surveyed by this manufacturer. They were asked to indicate on seven point scale their agreement or disagreement with the set of 10 statements relating to their perceptions and some attributes of the two wheelers. One, the first statement is I use two wheeler because it is comfort. It gives me a sense of freedom to own a two wheeler. Low maintenance cost makes a two wheeler very commercial in the long run. A two wheeler is essentially a man's vehicle. I feel very powerful when I am on my two-wheeler. Some of my friends who don't have their own vehicle are jealous of me. I feel good whenever I see the ad for my two-wheeler on TV, in a magazine or, in, or on a hoarding. My vehicle gives me a comfortable ride. I think two-wheelers are a safe way of travel. Three people should be legally allowed to travel on a two-wheeler. Now, on this stage 10 statements, the perception of the respondents were taken, which are recorded in the Excel file. You can see this Excel file. These are the 10 statements. And the respondents were of the people were recorded on 127. Now we want to carry out the factor analysis on this. How we can do? Let's see in Python. So first of all, import pandas as PD. From sklearn.datasets, import load underscore iris. From factor analyzer import factor analyzer. It may be possible that you may not be having this library. So for this purpose, you will have to go in command prompt or anaconda prompt, and you will have to write down here pip install factor analyzer. And it will start loading the libraries. Once this is done, you will be able to use the full functionality of the factor analyzer library. Import matplotlib as plt. You will run this. After that, you would, you would import the data file, this data file, Excel file, which is in CSV format into the Python notebook. So df is equal to pd.read underscore csv. We use r for the smooth import of data file. I'll specify the path where this file is and I'll be able to import this file here. Then I'll run the command df.columns. It will give me the names of the variable. Then if I want the further information about the levels of measurement of this variables, I'll write down do df info round bracket. Then, if I want to see the data, then I'll write down df.head round bracket 
So it will generate the first five rows of the data. Now I want to carry out some tests to detect whether I can do the factor analysis or not. So for this purpose, we carry out the test which is known as Bartlett's test of sphericity. This test, the null hypothesis of this test is that the correlation matrix is an identity matrix. An identity matrix is a matrix in which all of the diagonal elements are one and the other elements are zero. The desirable here, thing here is we should reject null hypothesis to carry out the factor analysis. Let us see how we can do this. We'll go in the Jupyter notebook. So from factor underscore analyzer dot factor underscore analyzer import calculate the Bartlett underscore sparsity. Then chi square value p value calculate the Bartlett test sparsity for our data. Our data frame is df. Please give the output chi square value and p value. When I run this, I'll get these figures. So this is a chi square value. We are much more interested in this value. So here it is 1.086 e raised to minus 16, which means that it is very much less than 0 0.05. We reject the null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is that the correlation matrix is an identity matrix. So here, as a null is rejected, we can say that a factor analysis can be carried out. The next thing which you have to run is KMO test. The full form of uh, KMO is Kaiser Mayer Alpin measure of sample adequacy test. This measure varies between 0 and 1. Values closer to 1 are better. A value of 0.6 is suggested minimum. In general, KMO values between 0 0.8 and 1 indicate that sampling is adequate. KMO values less than 0 0.6 indicate that the sample is not adequate and the remedial action should be taken. In contrast, others set this cutoff value at 0.5. Now, how to run KMO in Python? Let's see. So, we will specify from factor analyzer dot factor analyzer import calculate KMO. KMO all, KMO model, calculate KMO for our data frame. And then when we run KMO model, we will get 0.59. It is less and therefore the sample is not adequate for running the factor analysis. So it is necessary that we increase the sample size. But for our purpose, we will continue to understand how factor analysis can be done in Python. Now there is another thing which we should remember in factor analysis and that is eigens and eigenvalues and scree plot. So eigenvalues represent the total amount of variance that can be explained by a given principal component. They can be positive or negative in theory, but in practice they explain variance which is always positive. If eigenvalues are greater than zero, then it's a good sign. Since variance cannot be negative, negative eigenvalues imply that the model is ill-conditioned. We will generate the scree plot and on the basis of scree plot, we will decide how many factor solutions can be given for this data. So all those factors, see here, first factor, second factor, third factor, four factor solution is there. And here the eigenvalues is there. So those factors whose eigenvalues is more than one, I again repeat, those factors whose eigenvalue is more than one are considered to be the optimum factors. So here, if I consider that, the, that our data is having one factor solution, its eigenvalue is about one, good, two, good, three, good. 4, good. 5, we will not consider the fifth factor because its eigenvalue is less than 1. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in Jupyter. From factor analyzer, import factor analyzer. Fe is equal to factor analyzer rotation now. Fe dot fit degree of, uh, sorry, not degree of freedom, it is data frame. So, I will get the factor analyzer rotation is non, rotation quags into bracket. Now I will initiate the loadings. So loadings is equal to fa dot loadings underscore and this will give me the factor loadings. We are interested in the eigenvalues. Now based on this fa, see I am again repeating, based on this fa, 
will be calculating the eigenvalues and therefore make sure that this two should match. So eigenvalues values is equal to fa dot get eigenvalues. You can very well see here that this is the answer for first factor, second factor, third factor and the three factor solution is the optimum for our data frame. So I'll run this and we'll, I'll get this. Now on the basis of this uh, eigenvalues, we want to compute the scree plot which we had seen in the theory part. So how we can do this? So plot dot scatter range one df dot save into bracket one plus one eigenvalues. PLT dot plot range one df dot save into the bracket one plus one eigenvalues. We will give the title scree plot. This is just a name. You can give any name. This is uh, the plot dot x label is a factors plot dot y label is eigenvalues. So when I'll run this, I'll get the eigenvalue the uh, eigenvalue plotted on scree plot. So now let us consider this line to be the threshold line. Now this line to be the threshold line. So the one factor solution, two factor solution, three factor solution. The fourth factor solution is exactly equal to one. Now should we consider three or four? It depends completely on the researcher. Now what we will do is PD dot data frame dot from underscore records loadings. So it will do it will give us a loading. Now this, this is based on, uh, this solution is based where we have not given any rotation. You can see rotation is not. Now we will give the rotation here. The most uh, used rotation is a very max rotation. And we here we will specify the number of factors as three. So again, we will calculate FA, factor analyzer, and underscore factors, three factor solution based on the scree plot and based on the eigenvalues because they are more than one we are considering three factor solution rotation is very max fa dot fit degree of freedom sorry data frame now again we will cal calculate the loading so loading is equal to fa dot loadings underscore so loadings is calculated now based on this we will calculate the values so pd dot data frame but from underscore records loadings we got the values now let us copy these values in the excel sheet okay let us copy this the same values i have taken here right now all those values which were less than 0.5 have been removed see those this value is less than 0.5 we will not consider this value is less than 0.5, we will not consider. This value is less than 0.5, we will not consider. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth is retained. You can very well see the same thing I have considered. Third, fourth, fifth. So these values have been considered in the first factor. These values are considered in second factor. These values are considered in third factor. In factor analysis, we always have to give the name that what can be the, the name of this factor. So here you can see that these statements are sharing a common variances. A two-wheeler is essentially a man's vehicle. I feel very powerful when I am on my two-wheeler. Some of my friends who don't have their own vehicle are jealous of me. I feel good whenever I see the air of my two-wheeler on a TV in magazine or on hoarding. So here, you can see here, it talks about the masculinity. And therefore, the name of the factor is masculinity. My vehicle gives me comfortable ride. I think two-wheelers are safe way of travel. So here, we can give here ease of travel. The name can be ease of travel or you can give some other name as comfortable ride. Comfort. Now let us talk about this one. I use two-wheeler because it is comfortable. Low maintenance cost makes a two-wheeler very economical in the long run. Three people should be legally, uh, legally allowed to travel on a two-wheeler. So this talks about economy. 
it's it's economical to use two wheelers as means of transportation so this is a way you can run factor analysis in python for more videos on data science using python kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using python thank you